I am malicious, I am confusing, and I am more powerful than human will. I evolve, I change, I race ahead. I build my strength, I grow with time, and I will consume you. It's what I do. Uh, acting on stage is really hands-on. You're, you have to over-exaggerate all your features, everything you do, your body movements, your voice, you have to project a lot. Um, so people in, say, the back row can hear you. Uh, the difference yeah. with that and uh, acting on film is that you're not yeah. talking to 300 people, you're talking to a camera. It's really challenging to kind of tone everything down and work with your facial expressions. Can kill. It's what I do. Portraying addiction was just, after some of the lines you feel, creepy you feel angry you feel like gosh you know I hate the world and I'm out to get you and it kind of it doesn't take you over as much as say method acting where you get really deeply involved with your character it's just it it was similar to that but not as extreme I didn't go overboard I'm not you know becoming addiction I well it was challenging because I'm always happy I'm usually smiling a lot. I laugh at everything imaginable. It's hard to channel your energy into something that's a total opposite, you know, per, you know, persona than what you have every day. You know, that's who you are. And you're becoming something that is so unlike yourself. It's you feel out of place, like you don't really belong there. I like being other people only because I'm it's so different. I like getting out of my comfort zone and trying new things and that kind of to me is the same thing as you know being a total opposite in character whereas you know I'm kind of a quirky ditzy person and <laughs> this character was serious and cold-blooded and you know mean and it really really challenged me and I like that and a lot hardest part was just really making that person come across good on camera and trying to think about, okay, how is this going to look when I, you know, make my face look this way? And how, you know, if I, if I sit this way or uh, the way my stance is, how is that going to look on camera? And I love the fact that I get to be someone completely new and I know nothing about. And I get to put all my time and energy and focus into, into this brand new person and make it an individual and not just something written on paper. I just, I like that, it, and I enjoyed that, and I don't know if I was amazing at it, but I really did try, <laughs> so <laughs> I, I smile a lot, and so working with just your eyes and learning how to control them, and when you, when you really are smiling, truly genuine smile, you smile, you light up, your whole face kind of illuminates, and the smirk wasn't necessarily a happy smile. It wasn't at all, actually. It was just a cold-blooded kind of like, hmm, I'm going to get you. But you can tell when somebody, especially I think girls in high school or anywhere, the girls are so mean. And there's a difference between like, oh, hi. And then there's a difference like, hi, how are you? You know, when they get really, they're excited about seeing you. They're not just saying hi because it's the polite thing to do. They They really mean it. And you can... You can tell a lot by a person whether they're, you know, genuinely, truly a friend and they mean that. And you can tell when they're just being snobs. Especially addiction. It's such an intense subject and a lot of people, a lot of people, especially my generation, are going through it. And it's, it was something that I used to, you know, just think that it was a condition that you could just turn on and off whenever you wanted to. You... If you had a strong mindset, if you had willpower, you could, you can tell yourself, no, I'm not going to smoke, no, I'm not going to drink, and that would keep you sober, keep you drug free, but now I know that when you've crossed that certain line, your brain really does change. I mean, I was so, like, humbled by it, because I used to think, you know, that people were just lazy, and they didn't, they just didn't want to do it, and had no willpower when really they can't help it. It's pretty intense and I and a lot of people, whoever has that kind of an issue, you can't shut them out, you can't 
be rude to them because you don't think they, you know, they're strong enough. You have to support them and help them in any way you can because they can't do it on their own. Not today. Remember, addiction is cunning, baffling, and powerful. If you don't pay attention, you'll never see it coming.